I'm a Husky 100 and I'm a future leader in healthcare. I'm a Husky 100 and I'm a business leader. And I'm a journalist. And I'm a veteran and a parent. And I'm a chemist and a writer. I empower others. And I am passionately curious. I'm an educational advocate. I'm a native scholar from the Yakima Nation. And I'm an Air Force veteran and an engineer. I'm a dedicated leader and a teacher. I'm a filmmaker. And I'm a Fulbright scholar. And I'm an indigenous health advocate. I'm a communication leader. I inspire others. I'm a hopeful millennial. And I'm a global citizen. And I am grateful. I'm a Husky 100, and my communities have made this possible. To be chosen as a Husky 100 is such an honor because I was recognized as embodying the qualities that the university itself values and thinks is important. We look for people that are devoted to serving diverse communities. We look for people that have natural leadership qualities. We look for people that have this desire for, for learning and they have the discovery mindset. The focus is really about having people that want to be here to serve other people and to learn and are willing to be shaped and grow from the experience. My work over the last three quarters was to teach a resilience class to undergraduate students. The idea of the resilience class was to support their optimal functioning and provide them with skills that would help them navigate the inevitable stressors that they're going to encounter. So what I'd like to do is develop content that's usable by any adult or leader with touch points uh, with young people so that it can guide their development of resilience. I want to help mitigate the conflict between humans and wildlife. I went to Argentina to help research study on Magellanic penguins. I have also studied abroad in Tanzania and looked at terrestrial birds. I did volunteer work in a garden and I got to teach kids and I developed a passion for that so I went into alternative spring break with the pipeline project and I got to go into an environment, develop a curriculum to teach more kids. On a personal level, uh, to be a leader for these kids, I really got involved with Yogis at UW, which taught me to take care of my mental health and pursue my passion. We have really great people here at the University of Washington that represent not only the diversity of our campus, but also the goodness in people. I plan on being an advocate for victims, um, those that can't speak for themselves. Working in the Divergent program, I looked at the kids, and as I'm working with them, it's like, I could have been one of them. I look at them like, wow, I could have easily been in that situation when I was a kid. And I want to help them somehow. And it's like, I, I want to be a role model. I want to see how I can go in and make changes in the system. Future nominees, I would advise you to be a part of the campus. When I first came to UW, for some reason I was so into myself and I was just going to class. But that doesn't work. I think to be a successful student, you need to be involved with what the school is trying to offer you. Being a part of the campus as much as you can. We are the Husky 100. Learn about us. Get to know us. Engage with us. Grab a coffee with us. Share your story with us. Celebrate with us. Pursue us. Challenge us. Mentor us. Inspire us. Develop us. Support us. Believe in us. Stand with us. Learn with us. Discover with us. Work with us. Discover cures with us. Expect great things from us. Change the world with us.